formation of all india muslim league the success of simla deputation made it imperative for the muslims of the subcontinent to have their own political organization the congress anti muslim activities to emphasize the need of a political platform for the muslims from where the interest of muslims could be projected the muslim leaders of the shimla deputation after their meeting with the viceroy held a consultation among themselves as to the possibility of forming a political association they were of the opinion that the time had reached when systematic efforts were to be made for the protection of the muslims interests the annual session of all india muslim educational conference was held in 1906 at dhaka the prominent muslim leaders from all over the country were attending this meeting when the meeting ended nawab salimullah khan of dhaka convened a meeting of the muslim leaders at his residence the objective of this meeting was to discuss the possibilities of forming a political association for the muslims the meeting was presided over by nawab vikarul mulk on 13 december 1906 nawab salimullah khan of dhaka had already circulated an idea of the political organization known as all india muslim confederacy Nawab Mukarril Mulk in his presidential address stressed the need for a political platform for the Muslims. He said that the Congress political activities were highly injurious for the Muslims for which Sir Syed Ahmed Khan had asked the Muslim to keep away from the Congress politics. He said that the Muslims form only one fourth of the total population of India. It is very obvious that if the British leave the country at any time the Muslims will come under the domination of that nation which is four times bigger than the Muslims The other participants also express their views in favor of forming a political organization for the Muslims Nawab Salimullah of Dhaka therefore moved a resolution which was supported by Hakim Ajmal Khan, Maulana Zafar Ali Khan and other participants, the resolution declared. It was resolved that this meeting composed of Muslims from all parts of India. Assembled at Dhaka decided that political association be formed, styled at All India Muslim League for the furtherance of the objectives. Objectives of the Muslim League were to promote among the Muslims of India feelings of loyalty to the British government and to remove any misconnection that may arise as to the intention of the government with regard to any of the mayors. Another aim was to protect and advance the political rights and interests of the Muslims of India. and to respectfully represent their needs and aspirations to the government and third was to prevent the rise among the muslims of india of any feelings of hostility towards other communities with or prejudice to other afford mentioned objects of the league nawab mohsin al mulk and nawab vikar al mulk were elected provisionally as joint secretaries of the muslim league a committee consisting of 60 members was set up to draft the constitution of the muslim league the constitution committee included all the members of similar deputation maulana muhammad ali johar a distinguished student of aligarh and oxford was given the responsibility of drafting the rules and regulations of the league The rules and regulations drafted by Maulana Muhammad Ali Johar were contained in a brochure called Green Book.
द फर्स्ट रेगुलर सेशन ऑफ द मुस्लिम लीग वॉज हेल्ड एट कराची ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ एंड थर्टीन दिसंबर नाइनटीन जीरो सेवन एग्जैक्टली आफ्टर वन ईयर ऑफ इट्स फॉर्मेशन सर आदम जी प्यर भाई अ प्रोमिनट लीडर ऑफ बम्बे प्रिजाइडिड ओवर दिस सेशन द ड्राफ्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रिपेड बाई द कमेटी was placed before the session for approval the constitution was adopted after a further scrutiny by the members of the constitution committee present at karachi session the purposes and objectives of league were reshaped after the constitution was adopted which were to promote among the muslims of india feelings of loyalty towards the british government and to remove any misconception and other feelings which were described already the karachi session of the league adjourned after adopting the constitution the session resumed after a few months and meet again on 18th march 1908 at aligarh eight the residents of nawab muzammal ullah khan joint secretary of the aligarh college justice shah din presided over this meeting which conducted regular businesses his highness the aga khan was elected as the president and major hasan bilgrami as the secretary nawab mohsin al mulk had expired by this time and nawab wakar al mulk was pre occupied with his new commitments in connection with the aligarh college it was decided in this meeting that the branches of muslim league shall be opened in the country sayed amir ali had established mohammedan association in london which was made london branch of the muslim league the muslim league met with immediate success in the initial stages of its struggle it drew government's attention towards the muslims demand expressed by the shimla deputation it secured due share in the appointments for the muslims and also seats in the legislative bodies on local provincial and central level it demanded the appointment of muslim judges in courts it also secured adequate safeguard for the educational interests of the muslims by getting due representation for the muslims on the syndicate and senates of the indian universities the most important demand of separate electorate was conceded by the government and incorporated in the minto maule reforms 1909 Many Muslims rose to the judgeship of higher courts over Mr Sharifuddin Calcutta High Court Mr Kramat Hussain Allahabad High Court and Mr Shahdeen Punjab High Court The Muslim League endeavored to get the Aqaf bill passed by which the management of Aqafs in the country was taken over by the government In a real sense it was a beginning of the political struggle by the muslims from the platform of all india muslim league